and live. Good morning, world. Good morning, YouTube. Good morning, Internet. Um, it's Sunday. It's 11.24, so I've just about squeezed this to make it a morning stream. It's the 5th of January, 2020. I haven't got used to saying 2020 yet. Some, I, I, somebody was saying 2K20, it's too weird. 2K20, too strange. 2020 is fine with me. 2020 vision. I'm going to have 2020 vision this year. Never had 2020 vision in my life. Um, there are 12 of you out there and people will start appearing in the chat any second I, I can see. There we go. Good morning, Deb Hughes. Good morning, Josh, who I was with until about half an hour ago. Good morning, Joan Morris, Chris Tyler, Linda UK99. Good morning, Jason Entwistle. So you're early, mate. He obviously got his notification today. Good morning, Janet Plant. Good morning, everybody. Oh, God, and there's a load more. Look, everybody, you, I swear to God, you can come in one at a time. You don't have to come in together. Good morning, Emma Meal Mucker. Good morning, Welsh Wonder Nia. Good morning, Claire Riley, Claire Cack One. Good morning, Laurel and Lex, Kath Palmer and Helen. Good morning, Jojo, Mike Dando, DB Resells, which is Damien. Good morning, T. Suzanne Davies. Good morning, Claire Cairns, Claire Cack Two. Good morning, Andrea Turner. Good morning, Kate Kinder. How the devil are you all? Are you all well? Oh, God, and there's more. <laughs> Good morning, Nadine, the Monocle, Jackie West Sussex, and Tim Hedges, and Tim's mum, Mary. Good morning, everybody. I hope you're all well. Um, Joan, somewhere back up there, says she was worried I might be ill as it was getting late. I look ill. Don't I look really washed out? I think it's this camera and the lighting, because I look like a vampire has drained me. <laughs> Good morning, Woo Woo 76. Good morning, Leanne, Death by Glamour. Good morning... Kelly and Jason flipping panes. I don't know. I don't know whether that's Kelly or Jason or both, but good morning, Kelly and Jason, if you're both there. Claire Plant. Good morning, Claire Plant. That's Claire count three. I can't do three. Look, that finger doesn't want to go straight. And good morning, Margaret Stewart. I don't think I've missed anyone. Hello. Are you all well? Some of you I've seen already today. I've already seen both the pains at the Carboot cell. Not the Pain Brothers, because they're a long way away, but both Kelly and Jason Payne. And I have seen Josh, obviously, Josh, Josh with the car boot and we had breakfast together. So some of you I've already spotted this morning and you all look well and healthy. I look so washed out. In the, do I look washed out on the YouTube screen or is it just my screen that makes me look? I look bright white. Honestly, look like I've been drained of all of all content. <laughs> Good morning, Auntie Sue. We love you, Auntie Sue. Good morning, Jules and Cassie Carl. Yeah, bin car boot. Got out of my box a bit this morning. Out of my comfort zone very slightly. Tried to make Josh get out of his, but he's he's his ass is so firmly wedged in his comfort zone. He just he just can't do it, bless him. I pointed at something, I went, buy that, that's good, that is. And he was like, hey, and I was like, you've got three seconds, otherwise I'm buying it. I'm trying to help you out here, mate. So I bought it. So what can you do? What can you do with people who just won't listen? <laughs> good morning, Mandy Michelle. Good morning, Heather the Treasure Pirate. Mandy Michelle, have you had any post? You should have had some posts by now. Um, good morning, Lisa J, Lucy T. Cat says Casper's been to the car boot. Maybe I'll change my display name to Casper the Friendly Ghost or Cut. Hang on, what, how do you do that? How do you change your name? Perhaps, I think you have to do it when you're not on screen. I don't know. Yeah, I don't think you can do it when you're actually on. So maybe I'll change my name to Carla the Friendly Ghost. Uh, good morning. Bexify, I just saw Bexify fly in somewhere. There we go. Good morning, Bexify. Good morning, Claire James. I think that's now Claire Count Four. We have Claire Riley, Claire Cairns, Claire Plant, and Claire James. Where's Claire Sheen when you need her? <laughs> and Claire Borden, for that matter. Good morning, Darrell Linden. Okay, Darrell says, Good morning from Cornwall. Can you please say hello to my darling wife, Carol? Hi, Carol, who admires you. Don't, don't admire me, Carol. It's a, it's a downward slope, honestly, and watches all your videos. And she's a larger lady, too. Big up the fatties. <laughs> So, yeah, um, good morning, Carol. I'm sure you're not a fatty. I'm sure you're a splendid woman. Um, yeah, I got out, of, got out of my comfort zone. Couldn't bring Josh out of his. Tried dragging him, kicking and screaming out of his comfort zone, but now he's he's pretty much welded in there. Good morning, Anne-Marie. And I bought, while I was out of my comfort zone, this. And it's heavy. Bear with, bear with. But look, look I could just show you this bit, and that would give it away. Look, I bought this. This is the manual. It is a Philips DVD R3305 DVD player recorder. It is here. I haven't just bought the manual. That'd be shit, wouldn't it? Look, I bought this fucking bit of paper. Hang on. There it is. It was three quid. You see the three pound sticker on the corner there? I don't know if you can. The three pound sticker on there, trust me. It was three quid. It hasn't got a remote, and I'm sure it's meant to have. So I may have to do a bit of digging and, and research and get a remote for it. For three quid, I thought I'd give it a go. 
know, I haven't researched it in any way because I'm a shit reseller and I don't know what I'm talking about. Honestly, don't do it my way. But if I could find my phone, I could have a quick look now. What did I say it was? A DVD, what's it, do doobie jobby thing. Um, where are we now? Sorry, Heather's in. Good morning, Heather. I said good morning. Good morning, Vicky the toy hoarder. Lex says, fat people can be splendid too. Absolutely, we are splendid. We are splendid for us. Mandy's not had any posts. Why well, have a review postman? He's obviously stopped. If you see your postman rocking something fabulous, it's because he's stolen your post. Good morning, Karen sells clothes, who also sells other things. You need a new name, Karen. Karen sells stuff. <laughs> Jules says, urgency comes with having to pay the bills, but I don't know what I missed. Maybe you may be replying to me or somebody else. Good morning, Shell Staruni. Shell, I had a dream last night. I've got to say, in my dream, you were a bit of an arse. <laughs> I dreamt. Oh, sorry, Molly. I didn't know you were down there. I just stood on Molly. Sorry, baby girl. Snuck in when I went looking. I dreamt that you, Shell, and reselling Polly Sam and Mandy Yates were going on holiday and I was taking you to the airport. But none of you would get out of bed. I was sending you messages on Messenger going, you should be up by now. You're going to miss your flight. The gate closes in 30 minutes. And none of you would get up. And in the end, I managed to get you to the airport. But then you insisted on going duty free. And I was like, but the gate's going to close. You're going to miss your flight. And you insisted on going in duty free. And you wouldn't have it any other way. And then you missed your flight. And then you were all being absolute bastards to me about it. All of you were blaming me that you'd missed your flight and you couldn't go on your, on your holiday. So you were rude, basically, Shell. You were very rude. You should apologise. Good morning, Kimberly Byrne. Good morning, Elizabeth D. Oh, it's all scrolled up. Bear with me. I'm going back up. I'm going back up. Um, oh, Elizabeth says she thought I might have missed you. No, here I am. I'm late. Good morning, Joe Davies. Joe and Nick from Sunny Shrewsbury say hello. Hello, Joe and Nick in Sunny Shrewsbury. Couldn't say that if I was drunk. Shell says, what the fuck? Electricals. I'm in the right channel. <laughs> Vicky's jealous because her car boots start next week. And Heather says, DVD doobry jobby things always do well. Absolutely. Um, Lex says, that wasn't a dream. Shelster and eBay, eBay Queen is an arse. <laughs> okay, Karen, Karen staying as Karen sells clothes because she's not going to talk about the other stuff. Okay, fair enough. The secret stuff. Kate says, you've been having some interesting dreams of late colour, eight night cheese feasts. I don't eat a lot of cheese, funnily enough. I just do have some weird dreams. After I got back to sleep, glasses look wonky. After I got back to sleep, I was rescuing a kitten in my next dream, and, and it was a proper scraggly old kitten as well, and, and not, not being very good at being rescued. Shell says, sorry about that. Even in dreams, I can't help myself. Did we get anything good from Duty Free? I don't know. I, don't, I didn't see what you were buying, but you wouldn't. You would not come out of Duty Free and get on your flight, and then you were proper nasty to me about it. <laughs> and quite why I was doing the airport run anyway when Sam and Mandy live in Yorkshire, you live in Reading and I live in Bristol as anybody's guess I wasn't even going on the holiday <laughs> good morning Shazad good morning Tracy Baker oh dear brilliant brilliant dream, so yeah I was going to look up my Philips jobby doobry thing wasn't I bear with, bear with talk amongst yourselves but be polite uh, Philips for ellipse uh, what did I say? DVDR3305. DVDR3305. Million to pounds. Ready? Filter. Sold listings. Because what people are asking is not what people have got. Okay, I can buy a replacement remote, so that's reassuring. 5495, 44 pounds, 20 pounds. Four pound and four P. Mind you, don't auction stuff, people. Never auction stuff. So 4999, 4999. 20 pounds, 20 pounds, 23.50, 17 44. That's just the remote. 34.99. There we go. That's not bad. I paid three quid. Three quid. Okay. Uh, Lisa Fenzing. Good morning, Lisa. Good morning, Fandria. Josh says he's hungry. He's not hungry. He's just eating a massive breakfast. He tells lies. Good morning, Frankie's fines. Mandy says 35 pounds. Man, Mandy was guessing. <coughs> Nadine says she needs a Phillips do Jobby Doobry thing. Everybody needs one. You should buy this one. Karen's taking Sophie out. Sophie just got up and needs sorting out. She's going to go sort her out. Sophie, you're in trouble, mate. That sounds deadly. Right. Sorry, I'm also trying to sell Anthony's phone for him. And I try to do that on Facebook because I don't like selling phones on eBay because there's so much dodge going on. And, oh, people on Facebook are, uh... Oh, uh, Kelly's going to get Jason's look through his pile of remotes. Excellent. Thank you. Phillips DVD... R3305. 
I haven't got a picture of what the road looks like, I don't think. Oh, wait, I've looked there. Can't get my finger in the right place. The remote looks like that, Kelly. And that batteries look like that, just in case people don't recognise batteries. Oh, that makes the lighting better, doesn't it? I'll just keep that there. Oh, gone green now. Just play, Sorry, just playing with my lighting. <laughs> I'll stop. Okay. Good morning, Cos and Sandy Beach and Jesse. Good morning, Jesse. Um, Leanne says, I quit Facebook just before Christmas. Cannot deal with it. Yes, I, I feel your pain. Um, oh, my God. Fandra says, just woken up. There was a car and van burnt out next door at 3 a.m., so wake all bloody night. Lovely. Fantastic. Katie Laurie says, I don't get folk who rave about Facebook sales. They are just all right. Absolutely, they are. I really do prefer not to sell through Facebook because I find Facebook buyers far much more difficult than, than eBay buyers, you know? They, they want to come around for it. They want to come around a certain time. They don't turn up. They want they, they haggle far more aggressively. I've had people turn up having had agreed a price. I've had them turn up with less money and go, well, that's all I've got. Well, then you can't buy it. And I think they think that you're, because you'll be intimidated because they're at your door, that you'll give in. And I'm like, Mate, you don't intimidate me. I'm in the house with all the knives and things. <laughs> Not scared. <laughs> I'm the one with the gun. I haven't got a gun. I haven't got a gun, honestly. <laughs> Mandy said it looked a bit Hulk then. Is that when it went all green when I put the paper up? Yeah, I was having, having, having a Hulk moment. Sorry, Molly, I've kicked you again. If you folded your legs into your bed, I would be less likely to kick them. Just saying. If you weren't stretched out halfway across the floor. Oh, poor Steve. He's just quacked his head off his door, bringing the shop and in. Quacking, Al, Steve. Um... To give those of you who are absolutely in the dark a little bit of um, background, Lex bought a tiny duck in a suit this morning at the car boot sale, which she was really delighted with, and then she broke it, and we've been ribbing her about it ever since, and making quackers jokes and stuff like that. When you dropped it, Lex, did it quack right across? <laughs> I'm going to stop, because she knows where I live. Okay, Mandy says Depop's shite as well. And Elizabeth says, I thought I was the only one who had challenged customers. Nope. <laughs> Laura says Nick's got a collection of remotes. Yeah. Yeah, so it might be worth investing in the remote to increase the sale, but it might just sell without it. Okay. Oh. eBay massage. Bear with. I don't believe it's for your partner, but okay, no problem. I want some measurements. Okay. Okay. So what else did I buy? Josh, Josh stood there at that car boot sale and he did the, there's nothing to buy. We went out for lunch yesterday and he told me that there isn't anything at the car boot sales, that he struggles to buy stuff because he can never see anything worth buying. He stood on his phone, waiting for me, flicking through his phone for a good five minutes while I was looking at the stuff and he was three feet away from this. I'll get the right way up in a minute. He was literally three feet away from this. And he tells me there's nothing worth buying at the car boot sale. What can you say? What can you say? Good morning, Steve O'Brano. What can you, good morning, Lisa Cotton. What can, what can you say to somebody who says there's nothing worth buying? Open your bloody eyes, boy. Oh, if you were my child. This bloke wants to buy this phone. It's up at 150. He said, how much is the lowest price? It's 120 lowest. Is, I come to you now, 110. Nope, it's 120. I've just told you 120 is the lowest fucking price. If you're out there, Ibrahim, 120 is the lowest price. And I get cross if you piss me off. Ibrahim's not watching, is he? Okay. Um, right, where are we now? Mandy says most people buying replacement units will have already have, have a, a remote. This is a good point. Elizabeth says, um, oh, Heather suggests that you use duct tape, Lex. Elizabeth says, I had one time where they couldn't as the dog had eaten through the power cable on the laptop and they wouldn't be able to get on later. Why can't they just say they don't want it? Yeah, exactly. Facebook buyers. <laughs> Craig wants to give Josh a slap as well. I think we should all we should all line up and slap Josh. Yes, yeah, Shazad said that man is blind. He can't be helped, Shazad. You know as well as I do. You can't help Josh. He won't be helped. <laughs> 
So yeah, he was three feet away from a Harry Potter complete cinematic journey seen it. I've never found one in the wild. Never, ever found one. I've always been on the lookout for one. I found them series one and the series two, but I've never, ever found the complete cinematic journey. So I'm chuffed to bits with that. And and it was a pound, Josh. It was a pound. So it's even within Josh's budget, because Josh doesn't spend more than a pound on anything. So there we go. Good morning, Ashley Cumming. Josh has gone very quiet, I noticed. Do you think he's lurking in the corner crying somewhere? He could be feeling bullied, of course. Good morning, Jane Everton. Yeah, Damien says, if I can carry it, I'll ship it. Got a nine kilo printer to post out today. Right, I sent him back, nope, it's 120, and he sent me back a thumbs up. Does that mean he wants it or what? Oh, my God, blah. Facebook buyers, gah. Also, slightly out of my comfort zone. I have bought one of these before, but they're usually overpriced for for what they are. It's a trunky. It's a cow trunky. It has got its key because I am told that this matters. It is a cow trunky. It's in fairly good condition. It needs a bit of a clean up. Now Sue, Auntie Sue, if you're still there, I know you do trunkies. How much can I get for that? I can get more than two quid, can't I? Yeah, Claire says we'll all line up, <laughs> line up and slap Josh like an airplane. <laughs> Yeah, Joan says, morning, I've just arrived and we're lining up to slap Josh. <laughs> Form an orderly queue, people. <laughs> Wouldn't do it if you didn't deserve it, Josh. It's for your own good. I'm going to beat you to death for your own good. <laughs> Mandy says, is this Josh bloke just not wanting to learn from a seasoned expert? I'm not sure I'd call myself a seasoned expert, but I've been doing it a while and I've sold some stuff. A little bit of stuff. I'll just put this other band in my hair because that one's not staying in. Yeah, Shazad said it took me almost an hour for him to let me place an order with him. Exactly. <laughs> cow trunky, £22. Nice, Chris Tyler. Thank you. There was nothing to buy at the car boots. I know I, Josh was there before me. How many times did you walk past this, Josh? I paid two quid. Good morning, crony G. Crone. I can't speak. Good morning, crony G. Crone. Yeah, 20 quid easily. Josh says, I'm shit at reselling. Okay, I'm too kind. You're not too kind, you're too tight. You don't want to part with your money. Lex says he is the prettiest. He, said he is very pretty. He even waits gaily. When he was waiting, he was stood in the most, most teapot stance you've ever seen. I was like, there's a gay bloke waiting for someone just there. Oh, look, it's Josh. <laughs> okay. Also, at this car boot where there was nothing to buy, I got this for £2. Now, I should warn you that this jacket makes me sing. Can you see the brand? I'm trying to get it to the apple button jeans, boots with the fur. The whole club was looking at her. She hit the flow. Bear in mind, bear with me. This is my mother. Hello. Can I um? Can I give you a ring back? I'm live on the internet. <laughs> Unless you want to be live on the internet as well. Oh, I'll ring you back in a minute. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Bye. Okay. Um, so yeah, apple bottom jeans jacket. Apple bottom jeans, boots with the fur, with the fur. The whole club was looking at her. She hit the flow. Next thing you know, shawty got low, 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 low. That's my bit. Nat does the other bit. I can't do the other bit. <laughs> Josh says, well, I'm straight, so that's a worry. Yeah, you're straight. I'm thin, mate. That's how that works. <laughs> Okay, Sue says, about 20 for that one. Look out for the Gruffalo Trunky. They're worth having. Good morning, Julie Curry. <laughs> okay, um, so this is a 90% polyvinyl chloride and 10% polyurethane jacket. So it's a faux leather jacket, which makes it vegan friendly. And faux fur as well. So, yeah, wipe clean with damp, with damp cloth. Not cloth, cloth. A mild soap. Do not tumble dry. Do not bleach. Do not iron. Do not dry clean. It has the genuine apple bottom jeans. I'm gonna I'm gonna move the camera. Everybody for sit two seconds. It has a genuine apple bottom jeans, like kind of little tag inside the labely bit there. It is a genuine apple bottom jacket, and I estimate that I will sell it for forty to fifty pounds. But that is a guesstimation uh, because I haven't found anything quite like it. I found lots of other apple bottom jeans jackets, but in the quick swizz round that I was looking earlier on, I did not find this particular one. I estimate forty to fifty is a very nice jacket. It smells very cupboardy. It's going to require quite a lot of freshening before it can be sold. <laughs> the baggy sweatpants and the duck with the crack. 
she turned around and gave that big booty a slap. Okay, I'm going to stop. Got to stop. Good morning, Rebecca Turner. Good morning, Georgina Jill. <laughs> okay, everybody in the, in the chat is now doing the song. Excellent. <laughs> Mandy's like, see, Josh, Carla knows stuff. <laughs> I do know some stuff. Yeah, so there we go. Please with that. Two quid at this car group where there was nothing to buy. Dogs are home. Also, at this car boot where there was nothing to buy. These were 50 pence each. They were all from the same seller. Two jelly cats. This is a jelly cat bashful monkey. This is a jelly cat bashful elephant. They were they were 50 pence each. They will go for 10 a minimum, maybe a little bit more. Some are some are more sought after than others. Okay. <laughs> Crony says, come on, Carly, get up and get the hives on now. I'm done. I'm done. Jive's on. I'm still done. <laughs> Sue says she's got no idea what I'm singing. Oh, Sue. Apple bottom jeans, boots with the fur, with the fur. The whole club was looking at her. She hit the flow. Next thing you know, she already got low, 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 low. So Nat does the other bit. I can't do the other bit. Anyway, still in my 50 P's. These were all from the same seller because there was nothing worth buying at this car boot. So it was a Josh. Nothing at all. This one is Moulin Roti, La Grande Famille. La Grande Famille. Um, again, guesstimating at least a tenner on this one, but possibly more. Some of them are more sought after than others. I'll let you check this. One. This is not Amy Day. The duck is Amy Day. I can't remember what you're called. I'll, I'll remember what she's called later. So, yeah. So, 50p. Terrible lighting. Sorry about the terrible lighting. I'll come further back and see if that helps. This one is a Marks and Spencer's Bunny Rag Doll. That was 50p. They go for generally a good tenner or more. Again, the little the little rag doll. Again, Marks and Spencer's. Good tenner easily, usually. And this one is Bobble from... Oh, I'll remember it later. It'll come back to me. There's a range in Marks and Spencer's, and this is one of that range. There's a, a girl's name, and it's it'll come back to me. Anyway, 50p each for all of those. That's... That three pound is going to be fifty pounds. Nothing to buy at the car boot, sir. Nadine is saying, "When you're giving us a price, is it free postage? Absolutely freaking not. I always put postage on. The only exceptions are DVDs. I do free post because people expect it. It's very rare that anyone expects to pay postage for a DVD. Some books I do free post on. Again, that would depend. So antiquarian books I do not do free post on. But if it's just a Common or garden, run of the mill everyday book. I'd probably do free posts on that again. It, it varies. CDs, I sometimes do free post on, but almost everything else, postage is added. Very, very rare for me to do free post. It does, it does tend to, if it's something I don't sell normally, something new to me, then I'll have a look. And if everybody else has done free post on that item, I'll do free post. But usually, usually, I charge postage. People expect to pay it, I expect to receive it. Okay. Um, Crony says I'd be a blast on a night out Funnily enough I'm not, I don't drink, I'm a boring cow And halfway through the night I get sick of you all being pissed And I go home <laughs> DB Resale says Josh doesn't say hi to me anymore Probably because I changed my name and he's not noticed Lord Clue Josh, yes I know I still owe you gin That's Buckle Y, DB Resales is Buckle Y <laughs> Okay Lisa Fenn, she, oh, she also had no idea what I was saying Perhaps I was just singing it really badly Chris Harrison, I'm blown away at the price you can get for those toys. It's really simple. They are the kind of thing that your child becomes massively attached to. And then it takes it out and it goes out on a day out and it goes to the park or whatever and it loses it. And then it comes home and it goes, Mommy, where's Mr. Nibs or whatever it's called? It's fucking monkey. And you go, I don't know where Mr. Nibs is, darling. When did you have him last? I'm in the park. Mr. Nibs is lost forever. And your child is broken because of it. And so you go on eBay and you go, fuck me, some bastard's charged you 25 quid for this. Oh, my God. They're all Oh, fuck it. I've got to have one. That's how it works. Yeah, Crony says so you have a hyper half hour and then she crash. Basically, yeah. Josh says, please don't listen to Josh's advice. Josh says the best way to make money is to do 99p auctions with a free post. I don't know where he gets that idea from. It's not like I've ever done that by mistake. I did, at one point, a while ago, do a load of my shop onto a 99p auction to clear and some of it I forgot to take the free post off. Some of the things like DVDs that I got free post on or whatever, forgot to change it and ended up losing money. Don't take my advice. Don't do what I do. 
Uh, then uh, Lisa says, how quick, how, 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 blah, blah, blah. <laughs> Lisa says, how quickly do you flip confidence? They're not a quick flip. They are realistic and wait, but they do go. They do go. Some of them go incredibly quickly. Some of them are really, really rare and hard to find, but, um, but they do go. Kate says, do you ever post internationally? I use a global shipping program. So everything that is on my store is available to purchase and will go out on the GSP. If I get questions, if I get somebody saying to me, will you, will you do your own posts on that? It depends where they live. So I will not do private postage to Italy because the Italian postal service is so dismal that nothing ever gets there. And then you end up having to refund. So it's not, it's not a never, but it's a rare. It's nearly all goes GSP. Claire Law is in and says, good morning. And that gives us Claire count five for this morning. Claire, five, Claire count five. We are five Claire's in. <laughs> okay. I also bought at this car boot where there was nothing to buy, remember, Josh? Nothing. I'm going to keep on hammering this home that there was nothing for Josh to buy at this car boot. And it's not just a question if you've got to spend more money, Josh, because I didn't spend much money on these things. I got for £1.50. Oh, just pull the tag off that one. Never mind. That was one I wanted anyway. Bear with, bear with. I'm digging. One, two, three. I think it's yeah, six in total. I'll put that tag back on. This is a collection of toiletries. Now, toiletries are something you would definitely walk past at the car boot and go, I don't need any of that shit. Hang on, I'm just tying the tying the tag back on. Bear with me. Right, okay, because I pulled the tag off I was pulling out the troll. This bit was free. She said, oh, that goes with it. I'll chuck that in. This is a sacred spa bath bomb. I'll give that to Natalie. Natalie loads a bath bomb. But what I actually bought was these. So I've got... Sorry, the light is so bad. I'm going to move the camera again. I got mum to be moisturising bump butter. Two of those, just different packaging. Mum to be nourishing stretch mark oil. Two of those, different packaging. And mum to be soothing nipple balm. Two of those, different packaging. So we've got three bundles, two, two, two different bundles, basically, plus the bath bomb. So you go back. Sorry if it made you all feel sick. I paid pound fifty for the lot. I will split them into two bundles. I will do two bundles at a tenner each. People will buy it. I may put it into a little basket with a flannel and some cellophane if I feel particularly urgy and do it as a gift basket. I may. I may, I may not. But even so, there was plenty of things to buy at this car boot sale, Josh. Oh, DBG's off. Bye, DBG. Oh, Lisa counts three. Shazad says, best eBay strategy best ebay selling strategy for 2020 let's show that there we go buy high sell low well you give that a go she's had and we'll see how it goes for you <laughs> oh lex says the russian postal system is pretty rough as well <laughs> ashley says i should have my own tv program i'd get chucked off the air or a cult i'm gonna have a cult one day lex and i were planning a cult and joan says she's really sad that mr nibs is lost <laughs> You knew what I meant, though, don't you? you? You knew exactly what I meant by that. That kind of, mummy, mummy, where's Mr. Nibs? He's in Blaze. I'm face down in a puddle, bless him. Blaze is our local bit of woodland. Okay. Lex says, Lex count one. I only have a one Lex. Isn't that a football song? One Lex, one Lex. <laughs> and Jesse says, there's only, only one Lex, except no substitutions. And Kate's going to have a look on my eBay. You go for it, Kate. I'll rummage around. Right, where am I now? Lex is giggling about nipple balm because she's actually three years old. Anne-Marie thinks I'm a wealth of knowledge, bless her. <laughs> uh, Kelly says she'll do a swap, all of her jelly cats, for the stuff I've said in my attic. I'm going to get you to come around and rummage in my attic. I am. Chris Tyler says, don't forget your auction challenge. Oh, I hate doing auctions, but okay, we will in a bit. I, I, I really hate doing auctions. Carrie's off. Bye, Carrie. <laughs> and she's also that eBay selling advice was sponsored by JD Network <laughs> by I Solo. <laughs> Maybe I'll auction the DVD player. But I won't be able to list that today. Well, the idea was that I would list it on one show and we'd look at it on the next show. But I can't do that today without researching it and start fighting and find out if it works and stuff. Hmm. Yes. OK, we'll think about it. I don't want to auction things because you get the best prices when you do buy, do buy it now. You just do. This was free. She chucked it in when I bought something else. It is just a musical biscuit tin. 
It's one of the M&S musical biscuit tins. It's even got bits of free biscuit in it, I think. We'll tip them out. It needs a bit of a clean out. I don't even know if it works, but ever since it was free. What the tune is. It sounds like a, a version of Winter Wonderland. Perhaps I didn't perhaps I didn't wind it up enough for it to play fast enough. Nadine says it's terrifying. <laughs> oh, Chris Tyler said I can auction it on three, three or five. That's a good point. I could put it on a five-day auction. It'd give me a couple of days to research it, stick it on, and then let you know how it goes by next Sunday. That, that might work. Yeah, I sounded like a version of Winter Wonderland, didn't it? But perhaps I didn't wind it up enough for it to play fast enough. Yeah. Okay, somebody on Instagram this week, one of the other resellers, definitely sold one of these. This is the X Factor karaoke machine. I, I'm so far back from Instagram, I don't know if it, what, who, where it was. So if anybody remembers who it was, let me know so I can go and check out what they did with it. Um, I paid a pound. It's got wires and things and one microphone. So I paid a quid for that. I think I think there's a return on it. I'm fairly sure there's a good return on it. But um, I can't remember who it was. Definitely somebody sold it. Yeah, Bex Face is a creepy version of Winter Wonderland. Yeah. Lex does really well on auctions. I know you do, but I just don't like them. Just don't like them. I got one of these. This cost me, oh God, hang on, it's stuck. Bear with. Two quid, two quid. I've, I've sold one of these not long ago for 35 pounds. I haven't checked whether it's all in there, but I paid two quid and I was quite happy to do so. I got it from Steve, the car boot guy. If it wasn't there and I went back to him next week and said that thing I gave you two quid for was shit, he'd go, oh, well, choose something else, whatever. So, yeah. So this is a styling dubry it's a technical term you know styling dubry well-known technical phrase so that was two quid and i sold on that i said a couple of weeks ago for 30 odd Damien says it wasn't him that sold the um the x fact somebody did it on instagram somebody somebody put it on instagram not long ago crony says was it not nick or damien damien says it wasn't maybe it was nick then oh kelly sold one for 35 pounds kelly was it in your video Maybe that's, I knew I'd seen it somewhere recently. Maybe it was in your second video. Ah, I knew I'd seen one. I only got one remote with it though. Uh, not remote, one, um, la 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 la, microphone. Yeah, Crony said I've seen it on someone's video. I reckon it was Kelly's video. I reckon I watched Kelly's video and it was on there. I reckon that was it. Christine Davies, and I don't know if I've said good morning, Christine. I'm sure I have ages, I'm sure. Anyway, good morning, just in case. And good morning, Lainey. And good morning, Peter Ray. And I don't know if I've missed anyone, but if you came in and you said hello and I didn't see you, good morning to you. Styling wand, absolutely. That's, that's what I said, hair doobry thingy job. That's exactly what I said. This is today's buy and blind, no idea whether it was worth it. I paid three quid for this, but the, the, I got the biscuit tin free because I bought this. It is Stacy Nicholas Bow It All by Zutter version two of all things so I, I haven't researched it apparently it sells in hobby craft and she said they're expensive but then you know, people who are selling you things do say that oh lex's ebay hint there we go let's put that on the screen lex's ebay hint number 52 don't put your shit stuff on auction just your good stuff starting at the price you want for it shit stuff you've been at a cheap you'd be out buying out a cheap price to clear stop doing ebay wrong you tell them lex lex no stuff she does know stuff. I'm leaving that on the screen for a few minutes so you can all read it and inwardly digest it while I search for this. Stacy, is it Nicholas or Nichols? I think that's Nicholas. Say, say Nicholas. Bow it all. Oh God, I can't type. Bow it all. All A double L, not S double L. No exact matches found. Filter soul. No matches found. Okay, it's Zutter Bow It All, not Stacey Nicholas. I don't know why she's got her name on it. Zutter Bow It All. Replacement accessories sell for about seven or eight quid. 
It's for use with a bind it all machine, whatever one of those is when it's at home. Sold items. Zotter Boa Tour with bag scissors and tools, fourteen eighty seven, thirty pounds. That'll do me. That'll do me nicely. Some of them have gone for less, but I will be going for somewhere around twenty. That that'll make me happy. Right, I can't get that off the screen because it's shot too far up. By the way, oh, this is not a hint for super chats, but if anybody does super chat, please remember that you need to say to me in this bit that you've done it because it doesn't show up on the screen. So I'm not suggesting that you should, but if you do, please remember to tell me you have. Or if you, if one of you sees that somebody has and I haven't mentioned it, please make sure you hammer it home because I would hate to miss it and not be not be polite and not say thank you. And I don't know why it doesn't show up. Okay, where am I? Where am I? Where am I? Where am I? Okay, everybody's admiring Lex's advice. People, Lex is saying you can thank her with gin. Rowan's in. Good morning, Rowan. I don't know what time it is where you are, but I'm sure you should be in bed asleep. I'm sure you should. She said, good morning, Claire, Lex, Little Gay Josh and all the Claires. <laughs> so Carla, Lex, Little Gay Josh and all the Claires. All the Claires in the world. <laughs> Literally, it's like Claire land. My chat, my chat is Claire land. <laughs> right. I'm nearly done with me haul. But it's not a bad little, uh, little pile of stuff, is it? eBay tip number two from Shazad is use promoted listings rate at 100%. This is a sponsored advertisement from JD Network. <laughs> oh, no, see, that has come up on the screen. Mandy has super chatted two pounds. Thank you very much, Mandy Michelle. She says free Pepsi Max, and that's come up. Now, why wasn't it doing that the other week? I wonder if it was a StreamYard blip or glitch or something, because it definitely didn't show up last week. Or oh, the week before, now everybody, now everybody's going super chat, super chat. <laughs> JD Gaming says it look, looks like it's time to change my name. <laughs> don't, don't want to get associated with all this dodgy reselling uh, advice, do you? You right, Matt Moobal? Molly Moobal moved? Here's my Moobal. You okay? You're, oh, you want to be on screen. Well, that was your head. Your head bobbed up. Put your head here, up here. There we go. There's you. You all right? You're a terrible dog, aren't you? Yes, a dreadful, dreadful dog. Yes, you are. Okay. Mwah. Okay, you have to get down because I'm doing shit. Busy, busy, busies. You have to get down. Busy, busies. That's it. Go talk to Kiki. Okay. Um, oh, Sam's in. Good morning, Sam. You're also in my bad books. Shell will tell you why. I think Shell's gone again, but she'll tell you why you're in my bad books. I paid 50p for Carcassonne, which I know sells for 15 to 20. I've never actually had it, but I know it sells 15 to 20. So I do hope all the bits are there. It certainly sounds very bitty. Sounds like there's a lot of bits in there. Um, Anthony bought a camping kettle. I don't know how much he paid for it, but um, oh, a pound it says on the top. Pretty sure it's got some very old tea in it. I feel something rolling around in there. This is the thing that I pointed at Josh and said, there's something you can resell. And he went, and I went, you've got three seconds. If you don't buy it, I will. And he didn't because he went, I don't know. It's a spong. For those of you who do not know what a spong is, this is a spong. It's a vintage meat grinder. It is unusual in that they had the different meat grinding I suppose you call that a blade, although it's not really a blade, is it? Well, I wonder what, you know, meat grinding. What the heck is that bit called? Attachment. I'm going to go with attachment. But yes, so the spong cost £2.50. And Josh wouldn't buy it because he doesn't trust me to know shit. Or he doesn't like parting with £2.50 in one go or something like that. Heather says she sold one of them a long time ago. There's different versions. Yep, yeah, it's very, very vintage. Bloody freezing as well. Very, very cold. Uh, Mike says uh, he remembers using one of those as a kid. I don't know who you were grinding, Mike, but you sound like a very worrying child. Rowan says kiss Molly for me. I wonder when she comes back. She's gone off downstairs to eat a sofa or something. But when she comes back, I will, I will give her kisses from Auntie Rowan. <laughs> Um, Joe says you could hire you should hire Molly to IKEA as a furniture tester. It would be amazing. 
by the time ikea had finished um learning from molly's testing and making their sofas so reinforced that they that they survived molly i don't think they'd be able to sit on them i think they'd be rock hard they'd have to be made of steel steel sofas yeah <laughs> yeah lex says the carcass and sounds like all the bits are there it's fine <laughs> it sounds like a lot of bits are there certainly um right where am i you saw it here first folks Craig, a.k.a. The Monocle. Josh says, only Craig can grind my meat for me. Now, I went out on, I, I don't know whether it's supposed to be a date, but it was. we went out for an evening with the two of them, and Josh was very dismissive of Craig's ability to grind his meat for him. So I think, yeah. Damien said, said he's hog a spong. Took ages to sell, I don't care. I will price it and wait. Josh wants it to sell last week. Uh, Jet, uh, Lex says these bits are called the thurible bloops, which sounds about right. Oh, Le Heather says she sold the Carcassonne game, not the um, not the spong. This is a spong, vintage meat grinder. Uh, Fandria wanted me to show the spong. There you go, one spong. But I'd love to. I'd love to remember what these little bits are called. Grinding plates or something. And yeah, Craig says oh, Josh liked his kitchen earlier. He does, and yet he wouldn't buy it. Cass says they're called coggy thingies. Oh, Shell says she's listening and entering competitions at the same time. If you win a holiday, I'm not taking you to the airport. We've proven that you're an arse. Shazad, tip number three, don't buy any stock and then you never have to post out any items. Uh, Lisa J just raised a very good point. She said, thoughts are with you in Australia, Shirley Boland. Um, we are all absolutely devastated by what's happening to you guys, I think. Everyone, everyone I've spoken, we just can't believe it. It's it's unbelievable to look out of our window and see everything as normal, and to and to realise what you guys are living with over there and what's happening, and and the loss of the wildlife and the the you know the the oh, I, thank creation that the human losses so far are low, and uh, you know that it hasn't been that it's been worse for wildlife. I don't, I, I can't think of a nice way to say that. I don't, you know what I mean. I mean, the fire service are doing a tremendous job and people are staying safe as, as much as possible, and that's great. But just to have that scene of total devastation, and I don't know, and, and to not be able to stop it, I don't know. I don't know how you're coping. I can't imagine it. I cannot. It's unimaginably terrifying. So, yeah, we are all, we're all thinking of you. And our thoughts are with you, and we're hoping it will, we're hoping it will fucking rain, mate. We really are. Um, Nadine says these bits might be called the plates and that seems very reasonable. They might be the plates. Yeah. Yeah. Where are we now? Chris says, I think Josh has sold his glove drug and is living off the millions he got for it. Yeah. Kate Kinder said it's devastating in Oz. Even tonight in Auckland, New Zealand, the sky was orange due to the fires. I really hope you're all safe and and we just we will we're all praying for rain we're all i don't i don't believe in god but we're all asking the universe for rain jane says it's awful i wish this country would help out i think we're there, there's there is fundraising going on isn't there but there's there's political bullshit going on with it all as usual as usual Amory says, if my hubby was here, he would tell you what those bits are called. He's a butcher, although his is an industrial one. Josh says, did I see the bong in the filler bag? No, I didn't. Did you buy it? <laughs> I'm sure it has resale value. And if not, Lex will probably have it off you. My last bit and my first purchase of the day was this wooden bowl. I paid a pound. Somebody definitely sold one of these not long ago. It's hand-carved solid teak from Thailand, and I'm sure absolutely sure one of us sold one within the last few weeks possibly for a nice little chunk of change i can't remember what but i'm sure sure one of us did and i paid a quid for that it needs a bit of a polish up i'm not sure what to use on teak i know some people use olive oil but actually olive oil degrades quite nastily doesn't it and, and leaves a rancid taste so linseed oil is food grade i think isn't it I think linseed oil is food grade. Yeah. Uh, Frankie's Fines says, oh, it's scrolled up, so I'm just going back up. 
I was reading that the California firefighters are going to Australia to help out. Those people must have more stamina than I could ever muster. It's when you when you look at the state of the firefighters afterwards and how exhausted they are and and how it must feel to them like it's not working, like that they're you know that they're they're killing themselves and that and that the fires are still spreading. Devastating, absolutely devastating, and yet they're not giving up. Yeah, Kate Kinner says my mum's an Aussie and is heartbroken. At least Jay says Pink donated half a million. She did. She donated half a million dollars to the Australian firefighters. Um, one of the fundraising pages that I was looking at, there's been eight million raised so far, but they raised something like five hundred million for Notre Dame, didn't they? In 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 no time at all. And I don't care about cathedrals. I'm sure it was a lovely building, but I care more about repairing and rebuilding an entire bloody country and people's lives and their livelihoods and their homes and and stuff like that than I do about Notre Dame, I'm afraid. Oh, we go. Josh says, 1970, solid teak, wooden fruit bowl, fruit bowl, 10 inches diameter, four and a half inches high. I don't know while I, how I measure me, while I measure my, my diameter. It is 10 inches diameter. It is four and a half inches high. So that must be the same one. Pre-owned, 16.99. Is that listed for or sold, Josh? Um... Yeah, linseed or Danish oil. Shell said, oh, God, so I've got an advert popping up. Shell says, I've used olive on my chopping board. Is that wrong? It's something to do with the fact that it it harbors bacteria after a while. It's not, you know, it, even though you can eat olive got olive oil, it doesn't doesn't do well if it hangs about, like. So something to do with that. Yeah, you can buy proper cutting, but Rowan's saying she doesn't think linseed oil is food grade. I think you thought you could buy a food grade level of it, not just anyone. To check cutting board oil, I think grapeseed and walnut oil is good, and possibly mineral oil. Um, and yeah, uh, Heather back up there said linseed or Danish oil. Josh sold teak plates. Yeah, I remember you selling those. Yeah. Uh, where are we? Rain prediction for tomorrow. God, come on, rain. Yeah, Claire Riley says Celeste Barber on Insta has raised millions so far for the fires in Oz. That might be the page that I saw. Crony G. Crone seems surprised that Lex is a smoker. <laughs> Can't imagine why. <laughs> yeah, listed on auction. Can't find the same one on souls. Well, it'll turn it'll turn a return on a pound, won't it? And you told me there was nothing to buy at the car boot. So look at this, Joshua Denning. Hang on, that's not, not look at look at this stuff. This is the stuff that you said wasn't there. There was nothing to buy. <laughs> the boy will drive me mad. The boy will drive me mad. Chris Harrison says linseed is food grade. I know they use it on cricket bats, but for that, you perhaps you can get different ones. Josh said, oh, she used my last name. I'm in trouble. If I knew your middle name, I'd have cracked that one out as well. I would have, I would have given you the full handle. Joshua Winston Stanley Denning, or whatever you're called. Winston Stanley is a brilliant name. Just one, not hy not hyphenated, just the whole thing. Winston Stanley. <laughs> Kate Kinder says everyone do a rain dance. Deb thinks the spong meat grinder parts are called cutters. Maybe they are, yeah. They're a little bit on the rusty side. They could do with a brush up. I probably won't. I think somebody wants to buy vintage, probably either doesn't want me to clean it or will do it themselves or whatever. Yeah, Mike Dando says most fire firefighters won't take their day off to rest because they're because they, they just want to get it, you know, get on with it and get it done. Greg wants to know if Josh picked up anything. He did. He spent five pounds on a box of crockery and told me that he bought something that he wouldn't normally buy. And I was like, that's that's horse manure because you always buy crockery. I'm not saying there's anything wrong with what he buys. Don't get me wrong. I am not dissing the stuff that he does buy. I am frustrated him by by not buying more and the, the fact that he can't see the value in the other stuff. No matter how much I shake him by the neck. <laughs> oh, sorry, hair right. Gas heads in. Good morning, Steve. He said, Good morning. It looks like I missed all your buys. I love seeing what I missed. Yes, yeah, he goes earlier than me. I think this is this is proof. This is not me going, ha ha, you missed this. Look how clever I am. It's proof that with all of our different areas of knowledge and our different areas of history and reselling and whatever, all of our, you know, I, I know I can sell this because I've sold it before. Steve walks past it because he's never noticed one or whatever and and it, it, what it proves i've got hiccups now sorry what it proves is that no matter what time you get to the car boot sale 
you'll be able to buy some. Don't know how many resellers have been there before you, because we all look at and for different things. And there is still, you know, no matter how many people tell you that YouTubers are ruining reselling for everyone else, that's bullshit because there's always going to be something that somebody didn't see, won't pick up, walk straight past. I walk straight past that Le Creuset pot. It's become a running joke between me and Josh. But this was a regular car boot that I go to every week. It was a regular seller whose stall I always look over. I know that he puts the good stuff on a certain part of his table. I know he does that. And yet I walked straight past the Le Creuset pot and Josh walked along behind me and went, yoink, I'll have that. So people are always going to miss stuff. There's always going to be something there you can buy. Anyone who goes to a car boot sale with more than one stall and comes away and says, I've got nothing at all, is not trying hard enough. <laughs> um, okay, so Chazan said, there's not Notre Dame was a tax write-off for three rich family business. That's why so much was raised so quickly. Yeah. Chris Harris has set his Siri off when he said history. Siri, show me naked grandma butts. <laughs> That is a quote from Big Bang Theory, by the way. Don't just have a thing about naked grandma butts. <laughs> okay. Sue's astonished that Josh spent eight quid. And he said, so he has his free, he had his free cup of tea. Crony would like the chat to give him their opinions on the best stroke easiest YouTube creator video apps. For me, I use StreamYard when I'm live and I use Windows Movie Maker for everything else. And they're not necessarily the best, but they're the ones that I know how to work. <laughs> Steve said he picked up lots of electronics today. Amazing. They all seem to be working. Normally gets a fair few duds. I've got to test out this DVD and I probably won't like it. Oh, Adendri says he just wanted to say from your video last week when people were talking about famous people they met. Go on, Adendri. Go on, Adendri. Go on. Uh, Sue, Sue says he refuses the free tea. Sue, Josh refuses the free tea or coffee. Why do you do that, Josh? I think it's fairly passable coffee. I don't think it's in. It's disgusting. I mean, I refuse it because I don't drink it, but I always get it if Ant's there if he wants it. Super Saver Deb says, I use Fillmore for my dumpster diving videos. Jesse uses iMovie. A lot of people use iMovie. I don't have an iMac, a Mac, so. Okay, Adendry says, myself and my partner met Ian McKellen after a show. But also, when my partner was young, he was at Maidenhead at a fate, and he got separated from his family. The celeb that found him was Rolf Harris. Well, I don't know what to say to that, apart from I'm sure it was lovely meeting Ian McKellen. <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> I don't know if we actually got the notification for once. Oh, Super Saver Dev says it's called Fillmore, or not Fillmore. Uh, Damien's making videos on his iPad. Oh, God, I've missed it. Where's it gone? Damien's making videos on his iPad apart from the film which uses his iPhone. Jesse says, I don't want you get free tea. I'm going to the wrong car boots. Yeah, you are. You get free tea. For, uh, if you, um, when you pay to get in, you get given a leaflet that entitles you to a free tea or coffee. Josh says, because it tastes odd. This is the man who sat there this morning trying to eat dry fucking toast and he has a cheek to say that things taste odd. I nearly cried. I didn't think things could get worse than watching Josh eat a dry roast dinner with no gravy on it. And then this morning, I had to sit while he tried to eat dry toast. I was like, what are you punishing you for? I don't think you value you enough if you'll make you eat dry toast. <laughs> Rowan says, I went to school with Carrie Fisher. Does that count? It most definitely does count. Where are we now? Uh, Super Safe says, I work as a film extra, so I've met loads of celebs. <laughs> Josh, Josh, I, I nearly cried. I ne Honestly, I, I was like, I can't deal with you eating dry toast. I can't deal with it. <laughs> are you ill? Dry toast is for when you're very, very poorly and you've got an upset tummy and you have a little bit of dry toast. To see if it'll stay in. Yeah, but you weren't dipping it in bean sauce at that particular point, Josh. You were just cutting bits of dry toast off the, off your plate and eating them. You moved on to the bean sauce after a bit. Oh dear. Adendry says Ian McKellen did a one-man show. He was touring in the West End. Afterwards, he was the one with the bucket raising money for charity. So I got a photo and shook his hand. Very nice man. He has a reputation for being a very nice man, doesn't he? Yeah. 
Although apparently he's a bit odd in Cats. I'm not he was a bit odd. His character in Cats is a bit odd, apparently. Frankie's fine. He says, I hope you drink tons of water, Josh. All that dry stuff you put inside, you need to replace what was absorbed. And Bexify says, dry toast is just wrong. And I agree. <laughs> Dean's off. Fine, Dean. Josh says, you said nothing about me eating toast with a knife and fork, mind. If you'd been eating buttered toast with a knife and fork, I would have pulled up about the knife and fork. But the lack of anything on the toast outweighed the knife and fork issue completely. <laughs> Tyler Heron says, Carla, are you Josh's mum? Yes, I am now. I've adopted him. <laughs> and Joe Leek says, I babysat Sheridan Smith. She and the family live next door to me. We're still friends. Oh, I like Sheridan Smith. I think she's great. And yeah, Joan's still going, Josh had no gravy on his roast dinner. We're all upset about that, Josh. We're all upset about it. You've caused a real wave of sadness to go across the reselling community with that. I tell you, mate, we're all devastated. <laughs> and he's got to lower the tone. Look at him. The tone for today was actually mildly higher than usual. But no, you've had to lower the tone. Uh, Kelly says Chloe and Josh have got food habits in common. Chloe is uh, Chloe's Kelly's daughter. She's lovely. Um, so does she also eat dry roast dinners and dry toast? These people are crazy. It's the young, the youth of today. They don't understand how to live. And Dendry says no gravy. What the hell? <laughs> I've gone really cold again. I got really cold when we were at breakfast and I haven't warmed up properly since. It was bloody chilly in that cafe today. Right. What am I doing today then, people? Obviously, I've got to put all this stuff away. I may, might list some of it. Um, I've got I've got my new photo backdrop, but I'm going to turn it into a roller blind. I'm going to look. I'm not happy with it where it is. I'm going to turn it into a roller blind and put it on the ceiling and stuff. So um, I might take some photos. I might do some listing. I feel like there's something niggling. Oh, I've got to bring my mother back, haven't I? That's what I've got to do. Bring my mother back. I've been here nearly an hour. Fandry says my husband won't eat gravy, and he calls himself a Yorkshire man. <laughs> Josh's dry cereal is also very good. You're a sick boy. You need help. Oh, I heard that. Josh has just pointed this out. The woman behind us asked for salad cream with her breakfast. Now, I know I've just been sitting here saying you shouldn't have it dry, but salad cream with breakfast. That's grim, isn't it? That is proper grim. She didn't look pregnant. Lex says she's listing and then entering competitions and then getting takeaway. I thought you were going out. Or was that last night, your six o'clock restaurant meal? Maybe that was last night. Salad cream with breakfast. Blech. 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 I look, my eyes have gone very... I was saying this last week, haven't I, that I've got very... I think I've got very fat eyelids suddenly and my eyes have gone very droopy. Maybe I'll get them lifted. Should I get it all? Get that done to it all. What do you think? I just look permanently surprised. Bit of Botox. Kath says she knows people have orange juice on their cereal. Super Saver Deb said I had porridge made, my husband at her house has porridge made with water. Blech. Kate's off to sleep now. We're off on holiday, so we've got a pack. You're going to Rarotonga. I don't know where Rarotonga is, but I hope it's wonderful. My geography is absolutely shit, mind. I don't know where anywhere it is. I'm absolutely known for my terrible, oh, ka -ching. I'm known for my terrible, terrible geography. Josh is going to be listing his 12 new items. Have you listed everything I gave you yesterday, Josh? Crack on. Come on, worky work works. Five pound offer. Do you know what? Yes, you can. I've had that a while. It doesn't seem to be shifting. You can have that for a five. Well, why not? Why not? Why not? Jane Everton says, go short, easier to manage. You're on about the hair. I've, I've, I've had half of it cut off last week. Half of it's gone. I literally had four inches taken off. I had an argument with one of the chat. Was it? I think it was Damien I had an argument with about what constitutes four inches because he's a man and they don't know about inches. But yeah, it's, it's half of it's gone. It's my fat eyebrow. It's my fat eyelids that are worrying me, not my fringe. <laughs> right. Okay. I am going to say goodbye. I'm going to go and ring my mother back. Hopefully she's okay. And um, good morning, Elizabeth. I'm just going. I'm so sorry. Oh, Rowan says, actually, a teaspoon of mayo mixed into scrambled eggs before you cook them is lovely. You won't taste it. It makes it taste better. That's an unusual thing. I've never thought of that. I would never have thought of that. And Sue got a ka just as I got mine. Oh, and Kate's holiday 
where, wherever Tonga, I can't remember the beginning, it's, it's between New Zealand and Hawaii, a little island in the Pacific. That sounds lovely. That sounds really nice. I'd like to go on a little island. Lisa says, if Cher just had one more face, if she'll have a beard. Jane says, fat eyelids, grey. But they are, look. They've got really... I think all the fat on my body has just given up looking for new places to land and started landing there. Fat eyelids. Of all the things to have fat ones of. Okay. Oh, Joe says, meant to say, really enjoyed your try-on video the other day. You look lovely in those tops. Keep the videos coming. Thank you. I'm glad you're enjoying them. Um, this week, the, this week's videos, there will be the, the waffle on Tuesday. Some point this week, the would you rather video is coming out. Natalie and I filmed the would you rather, and that's coming out some point this week. And I've also got to film my what I read in December. I haven't filmed that yet. So I don't know if that'll be out this week or next week. But um, but yeah, so there was videos coming out this week again. Uh, Martina, I didn't know you were in. No, she's saying take care. I didn't know she was in. Martina's in and going out again. And uh, Joanna Hook has arrived and we're just going. Sorry, Joanna. Thank you all for coming in. Thank you for watching. I'm going to cough. Sorry, excuse me. <coughs> Sorry, ran out of um, breath. Talking too much. Josh says do a B&M haul. I haven't been to b and I have not been to B&M since before Christmas. Do you think they're missing me? Do you think they're worried about me? Do you think they're having board meetings? <laughs> Frankie's fine. Says you and Nat testing that X Factor thing would be a good video. You think my sing is bad. You wait till you hear Nat's. I at least recognise the tune. Nat wouldn't know the tune if you handed it on a plate. And we've only got one mic, but maybe we'll test it. <laughs> okay. Right. Thank you for watching. It's been lovely talking to you all. I hope you have a fantastic week. It's gone really sunny out there. Now. I don't want to go sit out there. It's probably bloody freezing. Have a fantastic week. Remember to tune in for the waffle and the would you rather and whatever. Please hit the thumbs up button. Apparently it matters. I was reading something about how to grow your channel and stuff like that. And apparently it matters. If you, I, I never thought the thumbs up button really mad, but apparently it does. So do that. Do that thing. And if you're not subscribed, do that. And if you haven't hit the bell so you get notifications, do that. And if you haven't changed your pants, definitely do that. And here endeth this week's lesson. Thank you for watching. You're all lovely. Have a wonderful, wonderful week. And I will be back here next Sunday as usual. Take care. Be good. If you can't be good, be careful. Bye end broadcast do i want to end the broadcast yes i do i